a viewer had asked what are the modes of HIV transmission can HIV be spread by mosquito bites let us see the answer in today's video hi friends I am Dr. Karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel your health related queries are answered via short videos which are released every week if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel also if you have any queries kindly post it in the comment section I will try to answer them in subsequent videos today's video is about the roots of transmission of HIV we have to be very clear in today's world HIV is not a deadly disease HIV is a chronic manageable disease it's not considered so deadly there are effective treatments available people can live longer even after have, they have contracted HIV still it is considered a serious disease it is better to prevent you know, rather than treat the disease so we need to know about the modes of roots of transmission of HIV people have many misconceptions about this and because of this reason no people with HIV are frequently discriminated against so we have to be very clear regarding the roots of transmission the most common roots of transmission is the sexual root whether it is vaginal sex anal sex so these sexual root is the commonest mode of transmission of HIV the second is perinatal that means from the parent to the child from the mother to the child through the process of birth itself or after birth through breastfeeding the third root of transmission is sharing of you no know, syringes and needles commonly happens to injectable drug users a subclass of this will be you no know, uh, tattoo parlors or no places where syringes are not sterilized properly tattoo parlors where these sharp needles are not sterilized properly can potentially be a site for HIV transmission the next route will be blood transfusion even though today we screen for HIV among voluntary blood donors but there is still a small possibility of no window period being there no people have to voluntarily say about that HIV testing may not be apparent in the immediate window period there is a very very small risk in blood transfusion and blood products transfusion we have to be very clear which of the fluids which can transmit HIV as I have already elaborated blood semen vaginal fluid rectal fluid breast milk these are the fluids which can transmit HIV all others have very low HIV viral load so practically they cannot transmit HIV including saliva so that's why measures like hugging sharing of food sharing of utensils through air through sweat through tears through saliva no by sharing clothes no these measures are not going to transmit HIV even though mosquitoes do have a blood meal the potential for HIV to be alive outside the human body is very very small and mosquitoes have not known to be spreading HIV so mosquito bites are not a reason for HIV transmission as I said no sharing of toilets or sharing of places sharing of food is not going to spread this dreadly disease so there is no need to discriminate people with HIV AIDS so we can be rest assured that by merely being in the vicinity of you no know, such individuals you are going to be at a higher risk hopefully this would have cleared your confusion regarding HIV and its transmission if you like this video share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye